started recording Daily Light, I realized when I opened the book that I had no idea what day I'm recording. <laughs> because we don't worry about what day the devotion says as we look at it, but the day that we read it is what we would count on the Holy Spirit applying to our lives. And on the day that you see this is the day that's listed on the title and the topic. And that God uses to fit into your day. And I know he does for me. <laughs> so it's been a joy sometimes to just share that little insight into how I deal with my circumstances when things don't go exactly right. You know, when they don't seem to... be the way that I planned it to be. When trash can delivery trucks are next door throwing things away and I'm just as interested in what they're doing as where they're going. <laughs> and praise the Lord, you know, that's why I think that devotional is a little different kind of a devotional because we share those emotions together that influence us, that cause us to seek the Lord and to trust Him in all of our ways and to allow Him to make all these things work together for good. Whether it be the re-recording when I forget what day it is or something like a car going by. And my God is able, you know? He knew what was going to happen this day. When he shall appear, we shall be like him, for we shall see him as he is. As many as received him, to them gave he power to become the sons of God, even to them that believe on his name, whereby are given unto us exceeding great and precious promises, that by these you might be partakers of the divine nature, having escaped the corruption that is in the world through lust. Since the beginning of the world, men have not heard nor perceived by the ear Neither hath the eye seen, O God, besides thee, which he hath prepared for him that waiteth for him. Now we see through a glass darkly, but then face to face. Now I know in part, but then shall I know, even as I also am known. Christ shall change our vile body, that it may be fashioned like unto his glorious body, according to the working whereby he is able even to subdue all things unto himself. As for me, I will behold thy face in righteousness. I shall be satisfied when I awake with thy likeness. You know, what a great thought to realize that the day will come when all things, your flesh will be gone, but all things will be subdued by him who is able, and that being Jesus, and that one day we not only will be our own temperament, so to speak. Well, it won't be our temperament, but we won't, we'll be our own personality, but we'll still be likened unto the Son of God. What a joy that will be, don't you think? To have the stresses and the anxieties and the memories wiped clean, so to speak, and to recognize that, hmm, the joy that goes with us and the love and the peace those things that we've invested in the kingdom of God shall be to the glory of God the Father, but also to the remaking of our character and nature so that we'll be fit for heaven and for the universe. The man that is my fellow, saith the Lord of hosts, in him dwelleth all the fullness of the Godhead bodily. I have laid help upon one that is mighty. I have exalted one chosen out of the people. I have trodden the winepress alone, and of the people there was none with me. Great is the mystery of godliness. God was manifest in the flesh. Unto us a child is born, unto us a son is given. And the government shall be upon his shoulder, and his name shall be called Wonderful, Counselor, the Mighty God, the Everlasting Father, the Prince of Peace the brightness of his glory and the express image of his person and upholding all things by the word of his power when he had by himself purged our sins sat down on the right hand of the majesty on high unto the son he saith thy throne o god is forever and ever 
Let all the angels of God worship him, King of kings and Lord of lords. You know, when I read this, I think, did I record this yesterday? <laughs> Praise the Lord if I did. But God is able to make unto us like he has done from the beginning unto the end to complete our salvation by changing us into not what we want to be, but what he intended us to be, which was like his son. Because he said, this is my beloved son in whom I am well pleased. And godliness is at work in us that while the Son has risen from the dead, and He sent us His Holy Spirit as a propitiation, as a down payment, as a person residing inside of us, that we know Jesus in us is that deposit that we know we have and we are in Him, and that one day, one day, we'll be like Him. Until that day, I look forward to every day seeking His will, listening to his voice, walking with him day by day as we read, study, and apply his word in devotion, in devotionals, in Bible studies, in assembling together the brethren in church, in ministry, in all the ways that we're able to express, really, our love for God. Isn't that cool? I think it is.